Hi there, I'm John McAdams, founder of the Big Game Hunting blog. And in this video, I'm going to do a detailed comparison of the 6.5 Grendel and 308 Winchester cartridges. While most hunters are probably familiar with the 308 Winchester as a hunting cartridge, the 6.5 Grendel is not nearly as well known or as widely used. However, as the AR platform continues to gain in popularity among hunters and shooters, things are changing fast on that front as more people are looking into good cartridges to use in a modern sporting rifle. That's not really surprising because the AR platform offers many inherent advantages for hunters and shooters. So for that reason, hunters have several mainstream choices for medium bore AR cartridges these days. Among those that will function in an AR-15, the 6.5 Grendel is one of the most widely used. Likewise, the 308 Winchester is far and away the most popular cartridge used in the larger AR-10 platform. Both cartridges are solid performers, but each also has different strengths and weaknesses. So in this episode, I'm going to do a detailed comparison of the 6.5 Grendel and 308 Winchester and discuss the pros and cons of each one to help provide some insight into which cartridge will work best for you. As usual, we'll start with the history of the 6.5 Grendel and the 308 Winchester. Winchester unveiled the cartridge we now know as the 308 Winchester in 1952. The result of a long and contentious search by the U.S. military for a new cartridge to replace the 30 6 Springfield after World War II, the new 30 caliber Winchester cartridge and the very similar 762 by 51 millimeter NATO cartridge the military adopted had almost exactly the same ballistics as the original 30 6 load. However, the newer 308 and 762 by 51 millimeter cartridges fit the same performance into a significantly smaller package than the old 30 6 Specifically, the original 762 by 51 millimeter NATO M80 ball load fired a 146 grain full metal jacket bullet at 2,750 feet per second. The 762 by 51 NATO had virtually the same ballistics as the original 30 6 Springfield load, which was a 150 grain bullet at 2,700 feet per second. Like the 30 6 the 308 Winchester and the 762 by 51 NATO fired a 308 caliber bullet. Now, the 762 by 51 and the 308 Winchester both achieved that performance with a much shorter case, 51 millimeters versus 63 millimeters, due to advantages in powder technology that occurred after the development of the 30 6. Though the 30 6 remains quite popular among big game hunters, the 308 Winchester has steadily grown in popularity over the ensuing decades as well, and it is now one of the most popular and commonly used centerfire rifle cartridges in the world. All right, now let's talk about the 6.5 Grendel. The M16 rifle and the 556 by 45 millimeter NATO cartridge got off to a pretty rough start in Vietnam with the U.S. Army and the Marine Corps. Modifications to the rifle and ammunition solved most of the problems that plagued the system during the war, but large numbers of people in the U.S. military still had very serious concerns regarding the stopping power of the little cartridge. Civilian hunters who adopted the AR-15 and the 223 Remington cartridge during the last couple decades of the 20th century shared those concerns. Now, while the rifle and cartridge worked extremely well for target shooting and for predator slash varmint hunting, the 223 Remington developed a reputation for poor performance on deer size game. However, the AR-15 platform offered a number of advantages to shooters and was also very popular in the USA. With this in mind, gun designers, with their finger on the pulse of the American hunting and shooting communities, realized they were looking at a potentially massive opportunity. Realizing that many people loved the AR-15, but that the 223 Remington cartridge was not the best choice for hunting big game, Designers set about developing a number of larger bore cartridges that were more powerful than the 223, but would still function in AR-15 rifles. Among others, this list includes cartridges like the 6.8 Remington SPC, the 300 Blackout, the 450 Bushmaster, the 458 SOCOM, and the 50 Beowulf. Bill Alexander, who was the same guy who developed the 50 Beowulf, designed the 6.5 Grendel to fill this market niche in 2002. By modifying a 6.5 mm PPC case, which is itself descended from the 220 Russian and the 7.62 by 39 mm cartridges, 
Alexander was very successful in building an efficient, accurate, and sweet shooting cartridge that functioned very well in the AR platform. The 6.5 Grindel cartridge is also significantly more powerful than the 223 Remington. Not only that, but the 6.5 Grindel cartridge is extremely versatile, so it works extremely well for long-range shooting, tactical, law enforcement, varmint hunting, and big game hunting applications. Now, the cartridge did initially struggle to gain widespread acceptance in the shooting and hunting communities for a variety of reasons, one of which was the fact that Bill Alexander trademarked the name of the cartridge. However, he relinquished that trademark in 2011 when the cartridge gained SAMI approval, thus allowing other companies to manufacture ammo, barrels, etc., all bearing the name 6.5 Grendel. Since then, the 6.5 Grendel has gained traction as more and more hunters and shooters who appreciate the improved performance it offers over the 2.2.3 and 5.5.6 NATO cartridges, those people have adopted the new 6.5 Grendel. Okay, now let's talk about the relative sizes of the 308 and the 6.5 Grendel. As you can imagine, there are some big differences between the two cartridges. So first, the 6.5 Grendel is much shorter than the 308. This is because the Grendel cartridge was originally designed for use in an AR-15, which can only accommodate cartridges up to 2.26 inches long. With an overall length of 2.26 inches, the 6.5 Grendel is the maximum size cartridge that will fit in an AR-15. At 2.81 inches long, the 308 Winchester is much longer and requires a larger rifle that can accommodate a cartridge of that size, like the AR-10. Now, in that same vein, the 308 Winchester also has a much longer case length than the 6.5 Grendel, 2.015 inches versus 1.52 inches. Now, since they are descended from different parent cartridges, the 308 Winchester and the 6.5 Grendel have different rim diameters. 0.473 inches for the 308 and 0.438 inches for the 6.5 Grendel. For those reasons, there is a big difference in case capacity between the two cartridges, with the 308 Winchester having much more powder capacity than the 6.5 Grendel. Now, each also uses different diameter bullets, 0.264 inches for the Grendel and 0.308 inches for the 308 Winchester. So, most 6.5 Grendel ammo typically has bullet weights in the 90, to 130 grain range with 100 grain, 110 grain, 120 grain, and 123 grain bullets being the most popular. On the other hand, the majority of 308 Winchester factory loads shoot bullets in the 110 to 180 grain range. 150 grain, 165, 168, and 180 grain bullets are by far the most common for that cartridge. Now the 308 Winchester also has a higher maximum SAMI pressure than the 6.5 Grendel of 62,000 PSI versus 52,000 PSI. Now those differences in external dimensions between the Grendel and the Winchester cartridge translate into some interesting differences in their ballistic performance. This is illustrated when comparing Federal, Hornady, and Nosler factory ammunition. In this case, the 6.5 Grendel loads use a 120 grain soft point with a .340 BC a 120 grain Nosler ballistic tip with a .458 BC, and a 123 grain Hornady SST bullet with a .510 BC. While the 308 Winchester loads use a 150 grain soft point with a .414 BC, a 125 grain Nosler ballistic tip with a .366 BC, and a 165 grain ballistic tip with a .475 BC. The significantly larger case capacity of the 308 Winchester means that the cartridge can push a heavier bullet at a faster muzzle velocity than the 6.5 Grendel. Not surprisingly, this gives the cartridge an edge in terms of kinetic energy and trajectory. In this particular case, the 308 Winchester starts off with significantly more, like 40 to 87% more, kinetic energy, and that number increases with range for some of those loads. This is due to the fact that these particular 308 Winchester loads just use a significantly heavier bullet that's fired quite a bit faster. Now, additionally, these 308 Winchester loads have a flatter trajectory with less bullet drop at all ranges. Now, note that the 123 grain Hornady SST load bucks this trend to a certain degree. Now, that particular 6.5 Grendel load uses a very aerodynamic bullet with a high ballistic coefficient that retains energy very well. So while the 308 Winchester still has less drop and more retained energy at 500 yards, the gap narrows considerably with that 6.5 load. 
Now let's talk about wind deflection, specifically how a 10 mile an hour crosswind impacts those same 6.5 Grindle and 308 Winchester loads out to 500 yards. Once again, we see that with the exception of the 123 grain SST load, the 308 Winchester outperforms the 6.5 Grindle in terms of wind drift at all ranges. However, the gap between the two cartridges is not as big in this particular area as it was in the kinetic energy and just bullet drop arenas. Now, in fact, the Hornady SST load actually has less wind drift than some of the 308 Winchester hunting loads at all ranges. So, while the 308 Winchester does have something of an edge with wind drift, this is absolutely a strong suit for the 6.5 Grindle, and the exact loads being compared here really make a big difference. Now let's talk about recoil. Felt recoil will vary from shooter to shooter and rifle to rifle, but free recoil energy is still a useful way to compare cartridges. Now the 6.5 Grindle has significantly less recoil than the 308 Winchester. Depending on the exact load, the 308 Winchester has approximately two to three times more recoil. Now that is really saying something too, because the 308 isn't known as an especially hard recoiling cartridge. Now most shooters should be able to handle the recoil of both cartridges, but the 6.5 Grindle has a big advantage in this respect, especially for smaller or more recoil shy hunters. Now don't underestimate the impact that recoil has on the ability of a person to shoot accurately either. Some people do handle recoil better than others, but all other things being equal, they will absolutely shoot more accurately with a milder recoiling cartridge. Alright, so where do we stand here? The 308 Winchester fires a larger diameter and heavier bullet at a faster velocity than the 6.5 Grindle. For this reason, the 308 has a flatter trajectory and significantly more retained kinetic energy than the 6.5 Grindle at typical hunting ranges. However, the 6.5 Grindle does have much less recoil. Now, when comparing these two cartridges, it is important to remember that the 6.5 Grindle was designed to offer better performance out of an AR-15 than the 223 Remington. Bill Alexander was very successful in accomplishing that goal. However, just like there is a big gap in performance between the 223 Remington and the 308 Winchester, there remains a big, though slightly smaller, gap in performance between the 308 Winchester and the 6.5 Grindle. Now, all told, the 6.5 Grindle is a moderately powerful, mild recoiling, and relatively flat shooting cartridge that's also pretty resistant to wind drift. This is especially remarkable considering that the cartridge packs that level of performance into a very small package that can still fit in the relatively tight constraints of the AR-15 platform. So I think it's fair to say that the 6.5 Grindle is a very good all-around cartridge for those who want to use an AR-15 for big game hunting. Now in addition to hunting, the 6.5 Grindle is also a really nice choice for self-defense or personal protection for people who like the AR-15 platform and the cartridge also does have a very good barrel life. Now the 6.5 millimeter bore diameter is also in something of a sweet spot where it's easier to manufacture very high BC bullets that aren't especially heavy. Those aerodynamic projectiles don't slow down as fast and are more resistant to wind drift. At the same time, even though it uses lighter bullets, the 6.5 Grindle also has a slight edge over the 308 in bullet sectional density. Now, sectional density is a measure of the ratio of the diameter of a projectile to its mass. All other things equal, a heavier projectile of a given caliber will be longer and have a higher sectional density, and they will consequently penetrate deeper than projectiles with a lower mass and or sectional density. As an example, 123 grain and 129 grain .264 caliber bullets have sectional densities of 0.252 and 0.264 respectively. This compares favorably to 150 grain, 165 grain, and 180 grain .308 caliber bullets, which have sectional densities of 0 0.226, 0 0.248, and 0 0.271 respectively. Now there is some overlap here, but with the exception of the absolute heaviest 180 grain 308 Winchester bullets, the 6.5 Grindle does have a slight edge in sectional density. That being said, while it does have an edge in terms of uh, sectional density, I wouldn't say that it really punches above its weight to the same degree as other cartridges like the 6.5 Swede or the 9.3 by 62 millimeter Mauser. What about accuracy? Now the 308 Winchester has seen extensive use in the hands of competition shooters and has an outstanding reputation in that area. 
However, the 6.5 Grendel also excels in that area, and if we're being honest, both cartridges are absolutely capable of tack driving accuracy in the right hands. That said, I do tend to lean towards the 6.5 Grendel in this area because the cartridge has such mild recoil. Now, this is a very important characteristic that absolutely helps facilitate better shot placement, which is extremely important while hunting. Now, on the other hand, the 308 Winchester is simply a significantly more powerful cartridge. It's not in the same class as heavy hitters like the 7mm Remington Magnum or the 300 Winchester Magnum, but it is still on a completely different level from the 6.5 Grendel. For one thing, the 308 Winchester uses larger diameter bullets. For this reason, it has about 36% more frontal surface area than the 6.5 Grendel. All other things being equal, a bigger bullet will make a bigger hole, cause more tissue damage, and result in more blood loss. The 308 Winchester can also use significantly heavier bullets, which, along with the advantage the cartridge has in case capacity, helps the 308 carry more energy downrange. Combined with the larger diameter and frontal surface area of the bullets used by the cartridge, hunters have a little bit more room for error in shot placement when compared to the 6.5 Grendel. Those characteristics are also helpful when hunting bigger game. Make no mistake, the 6.5 Grendel is a good hunting cartridge with outstanding terminal performance on many species of big game. It's just that I think the 308 Winchester is better in that role. That is, if the hunter can place his or her shots appropriately. When all is said and done, the 6.5 Grendel round is still more than powerful enough for hunting varmints as well as medium-sized game like deer at short to moderate range. I would not use it on elk, though. All right, what about ammo selection? While the 6.5 Grendel is a reasonably popular cartridge, it cannot hold a candle to the 308 Winchester, which is typically one of the three most popular centerfire rifle cartridges sold in the USA. That said, there are some good factory ammo choices for both cartridges. The big ammo manufacturers like Barnes, Browning, Federal Premium, Hornady, Nosler, Remington, and Winchester all produce a variety of quality 308 Winchester factory ammo suitable for hunting. On the other hand, 6.5 Grendel ammo is available from Federal with their Fusion MSR and American Eagle lines and Hornady with their American Gunner, Black, and Custom lines. Alexander Arms still produces 6.5 Grendel ammo and Wolf also offers a pretty good low-priced full metal jacket option for the cartridge. Nosler also offers 6.5 Grendel ammunition as part of their ballistic tip line. Now, during normal times, it's usually very easy to find 308 Winchester ammo, and almost any gun or sporting goods store will have a pretty good variety of 308 ammo in stock. And really, as I record this in 2022, while we're still in the middle of an ammo shortage, the 308 Winchester is one of the easier to find centerfire rifle ammo options available in the USA, at least where I've been shopping. Now, however, while it's not really rare, uh, not every sporting goods store keeps 6.5 Grindle ammo in stock, and that has also held true uh, with the ongoing ammo shortage. 6.5 Grindle ammo is easier to find than some other things, but nowhere near as easy to find as 308 Winchester ammo, once again, as I'm recording this. Okay, what about rifles? Well, once again, the 308 Winchester is a little bit more widely available than the 6.5 Grindle but there are a couple of good semi-auto as well as bolt-action rifles in both cartridges. Alexander Arms manufactured the first rifles in 6.5 Grindel, and they continue to do so. Since then, Wilson Combat and a couple of other companies like Radical Firearms and Britain USA have also started producing modern sporting rifles in the cartridge. It's also possible to purchase a 6.5 Grindel upper receiver and convert an existing AR-15 to shoot the 6.5 Grindel cartridge. Now, the 6.5 Grindle can also use regular M16 or M4 carbine magazines with a slight decrease in magazine capacity and potentially in reliability. A typical 30 round 223 or 556 magazine will hold about 26 6.5 Grindle rounds. Now, the Ruger American Ranch and Predator bolt action rifles are currently manufactured in 6.5 Grindle. The same goes for the CZ 527 and the Howa Mini. Now, the 308 Winchester is relatively common in semi-automatic rifles like the AR-10 and the M1A. It's also very common in bolt guns. Of course, Remington and Winchester produce their flagship Model 70 and Model 700 rifles in 308. 
Same thing goes for the Browning X-Bolt, the Kimber Hunter, Mossberg Patriot, Nosler M48, Ruger American, Ruger Hawkeye, Savage Axis, and Weatherby Vanguard as well. So with all of that said, which cartridge is right for you? Do you primarily hunt medium-sized game like white-tailed deer, feral hogs, or black bear at ranges within 200 yards? Both cartridges will absolutely get the job done if you do your part, and there is not a gigantic difference between them ballistically inside 300 yards, though the 308 does have a little bit more kinetic energy and a little bit flatter trajectory, but that's not to say that the 6.5 Grindel isn't capable uh, at those ranges and on those animals. Go with the 6.5 Grindel here if you want to hunt with an AR-15, or with the 308 if you want to go a more traditional route and have a bigger selection of ammo or rifles to choose from, or if you just want a little bit more powerful cartridge. Both will work though. Now, are you looking for the better cartridge for long range hunting for game like mule deer or pronghorn in more open country where you might need to take a shot at several hundred yards? Now, the 308 Winchester does have a flatter trajectory. Uh, depending on the exact load, will potentially drift a little bit less in the wind and it does carry significantly more energy out past 200 yards, so I would go with that cartridge in this situation. Do you want a hunting cartridge that is well suited for a game like caribou, moose, elk, elan, kudu, or red stag that's just a little bit bigger? I consider both cartridges to be a little on the light side for hunting those sort of animals, but in this case, the 308 Winchester is clearly the better choice for most hunters out of these two particular cartridges because it shoots heavier and larger diameter bullets that carry so much more kinetic energy downrange. Do you prefer to use a semi-automatic rifle for hunting or for personal defense? Both will absolutely work in this role. The 6.5 Grendel is available in the AR-15 platform, which is smaller and lighter than the AR-10s and, and whatnot that the 308 is available in. The cartridge also recoils less, which makes it easier to get back on target for a follow-up shot. However, while the 6.5 Grindel is certainly powerful enough to get the job done, and it is quite a bit more powerful than the 223 or the 556 cartridges, the 308 Winchester does just hit significantly harder, and it is the better choice for someone who wants a true quote unquote battle rifle. Now, are you sensitive to recoil and in need of a serious low recoil cartridge? Well, the 6.5 Grindel has significantly less recoil than the 308 Winchester, especially in a lighter rifle. Now, do you want the round best suited for target shooting out past 400 yards or so in a precision rifle? Both will work and both have excellent reputations for precision shooting, but I would personally lean towards the 6.5 Grindel for work at longer ranges since it has such a mild recoil. Now, as I have stated several times in this episode, the 6.5 Grindel and the 308 Winchester are both very solid rifle cartridges. However, since they were designed with very different goals in mind, the differences between them are pretty big in many respects. Carefully evaluate your needs as a hunter based upon the circumstances you foresee using the cartridge in, get a good hunting rifle chambered in the cartridge you select, learn to shoot it well, use quality ammo, and it should serve you well afield. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new videos on hunting gear reviews, cartridge comparisons, and more. For more detailed information on popular hunting cartridges and what they are best suited for, click on the link in the description below or go to huntingguns101.com to get a free ebook I have written on the best hunting calibers. Now I'm going to turn it over to you. What cartridge do you prefer out of these two? The 6.5 Grendel? or the 308 Winchester? What game have you successfully taken with them? Let me know by leaving a comment on this video right now. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and good hunting.